these are the questions that will be answered in today's video take a pen and paper and be ready to take down notes hi everyone welcome back to my channel and i'm so excited i'm back in my room since <laughs> since the what is it the covid 19 levels have dropped to level two so i'm back in my room i'm so excited <laughs> So, um, in this video, you guys, I will be um, talking about how you can improve your mathematics marks or your math marks that you got from metric so that you will be um, considered to write the web here in Wits University. So, the web actually is the Wits Additional Placement Test, and I've got a lot of videos that talk about, the, <laughs> about this. Um, about this test so i'll link the videos right here so that you can check it out so i don't know if it's here on the side i don't know where youtube actually places <laughs> i don't know where it places this thing um the gray or white thing with the card so i will link the videos so that you can check it out and get inspiration so yeah so um the questions that i'll be answering in this i mean in this um in this video <laughs> A question that 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 you guys have been like asking me and after Balo's video um you guys have been asking me so many questions about how he got in and all that and i just decided to do this video so that i can, so I can explain everything that you guys need to know <laughs> so um i'll also link his video by the way in the in the in the cards so the questions are but I, I have them right here <laughs> Them right here so the first question is um why you need to improve your math marks so like it's a no-brainer and then where can you improve your math marks what is the application process so the application process i'll actually be giving you guys like the sites where you can apply um the the degree or the course yes the course that you need to take or the course that you need to select i'll be going through um quite a lot of things the documents that you need um to be to prepare before you, you you start with your application process i'll also tell you about the sp the aps score that you need <laughs> to qualify for this course and then yeah it's, it's basically that oh and um the application fee that you need like the application fee of the course so basically it's it's it's, it's that i'll be showing that and i'll also be showing um the closing dates of like the course <laughs> i mean the closing dates of the application process i'll also talk about how much um okay i've, I've said this already how much the application fee is i'll also talk about the modules which most of you are very interested in the module that you need to take for this um for this course to make sure that you improve your marks because um i i know Oh, oh my god, I wanna say her name but I'm not sure if I'm gonna say it right. It's Ona. Ona. Yeah, I think it's own Ona. I don't I don't I don't know. If I'm butchering your name, I'm so sorry. But I'll just write it down. <laughs> she actually told me that she she's one of my subscribers by the way. She told me that she contacted Unisa to try and, and find um, which course you need to do and stuff like that to improve your marks, your metric or your English marks and then they actually said they don't do that, they don't improve metric marks or something like that so there's a trick to it, you don't actually apply saying you want to improve your maths marks or your English marks, you don't do that but I'll explain what you do, okay, so just stick with me and then I'll also, I'll also share the contact, their contact details and their office hours and all that. So just stay with me. Be with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, for the first question, which was why you need to improve your math, your, your math smarts. So basically, um, to qualify to to write the the, the web, which is I've explained this for the additional placement test, you will need sixty percent. You know like 60 percent from your metric marks you, your, your maths should be 60 percent but if you do this course that i'm telling you about you'll have to get 50 percent minimum 
you know 50% minimum so that they'll consider you to write the reps so if you don't have 60% or so above from a trick then they won't even invite you to write the reps so that's the answer for that question <laughs> and then question two which was where can you improve your marks so you can actually apply at UNISA under a non degree purpose or it's a non purpose yeah, it's a non degree purpose <laughs> sorry it's a non degree purpose course and then um, they will take you and then you, after after you have applied for that course you can add any degree I mean any um, module that you want to add that's the twist that I told you about earlier on that my subscriber had a problem with so you apply for a non purpose degree a non degree purpose sorry it's a non degree purpose and then you add the modules that i'll tell you about later on so keep on watching <laughs> till the end you guys so um um the application process i've also said this uh, I've, 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 all, <laughs> I've started i've started explaining this so i, I told you about the, the non-degree purpose which is also called the a adp yeah i think it's called adp that's what palo, palo told me and then the closing dates for this course is um, is actually the 30th of November 2020. So I'm not quite sure if the closing dates for this year is actually influenced because of influenced by COVID-19 in any way. Maybe it would have been earlier on or something like that. But please do check each and every year because I know this video you guys will watch it and watch it and not, you know. <laughs> for the next years and next years so it could the dates could be changed or something like that so please do check it out for each and every year like what's the closing date but for this year 2020 it's 30th of november so make sure that you apply and you finish your application and you have sent your um your proof of pay your, your proof of payment through the email that i'll link in the description down below um, so please do that so that you make sure that you know you, you get in and you won't be like um, set back maybe do this application again the following year or something like that so make sure that you do apply on time and finish on time so yeah so when you applying you go to www.unisa.ac.za I'll also link the, this thingy the description down below and then when you get into the site there will be three buttons you don't have to worry about all the three buttons you only have to worry about apply that's the only button you will click you click apply and then when you click that button it will send you to the next page which will be choosing which degree you want to like to do so for this purpose like for for for, for the NDP I keep on saying it wrong, I don't know why. <laughs> the NDP, you'll have to choose undergrad. Okay, so I've actually asked Palo to, to explain this to me. He has done this before, so this is like solid information. <laughs> so you'll choose undergrad and then you'll search your application process and all that. I think you choose um, the, the, the non degree purpose when you are registering after your application and all that so yeah I, I think that's when you choose it but then do check it out with the with the with the university and then um when you have finished your application obviously oh by the way the requirements the sp the aps score that you need is um is a minimum of 14. yeah that's what they said on the site you need a minimum of 14 so you can you can actually add two modules or yeah you can add two modules i think it's a, it's a, it's a maximum of two modules for the non degree purpose or the non yeah the non degree purpose you can add two modules like um maximum so yeah and then for the documents that you need you will need uh, certified copies black and white make sure that it's black and white because they don't they don't accept colored copies I don't know why but they don't accept colored copies so you need a certified copy black and white um, of your matric certificates 
your academic record or academic transcripts and then your id documents or they are they also said if you are divorced or if you're married but it's optional you can add those certificates as well and then these certificates they have to be in in word in word i mean in pdf or a word document so yeah make sure that it's it's in like the right criteria and don't like you know put yourself in a disadvantage by disadvantage by not like you know <laughs> following the rules of their university and then after you have finished with your application they'll then send you um your, your student number and then you use that student number to apply i mean to to pay to pay for the for the application fee so make sure that you don't pay prior to that because you won't have like a reference number so for the reference number you use your student number so make sure that you get the student number and then pay and then the 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 application fee is less than 200 rand i've checked it is less than 200 rand i think the other one was 118 rand or something yeah it's very much it's, it's very low for both if you if you are applying online or if you are applying like by hand you submit the, the application documents so it's 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 very cheap and then um oh you also need a motivation letter for this for this year i think they started this year last year but Paolo told me that when he did it himself he he did they, they, they didn't want a motivation letter so you'll have to, to motivate on why you want to do this degree um i don't know but i, I would say maybe you shouldn't say you're doing it because you want to improve your your marks so that you can get into medicine i don't know maybe it will be a disadvantage i don't know just i don't know just say something motivational you know inspirational <laughs> i don't know i don't know like because that's to my subscriber they said they don't improve my trick marks so if they said that to her maybe they will take a motivation letter that says something like that or something along those lines so just i don't know make something up yeah just make something up you guys so i think that's it for the application process and don't forget the closing date this year 2020 is in is on the 30th of november make sure that you apply before that date and finish your application please okay so for the module i know everyone is excited about this one <laughs> for the module that you have to like register after they have like obviously accepted your application and all that i think the applications happen in january yeah in january mm. so but they'll let you know they'll let you know like everything once you have applied and stuff like that so the module that you have to register is is um maths it's 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 access to mathematics that's what it's called it's access to mathematics so the module code is in capital letters m a t it's m a t o five or zero not o oh, zero it's m a t zero five one one so let me say it again it's m a t zero five one one okay so that's the module you need to apply and get into you know to apply and get in to medicine eventually so to improve your maths marks basically so this is the module you need so make sure that you choose the appropriate module they even tell you that this module you cannot you, you cannot take it for a qualification which means it is for improving your maths marks it's just that they don't want to say it's for improving your maths marks i don't know why but yeah it's it's like that so this is the module you have to take and then you need 50 percent minimum excuse me you need 50 percent minimum like you need to pass it in 50 percent minimum in order to be accepted to write the rap so it's good news right so it's, it's lower than the 60 percent you need to got you, you needed to get um for rap so on the side the word size they did say you need 50 percent for this um degree i mean this um course yes so yeah <laughs> 
so um, the contact details to the to the university is 08 um, 0, 0, 0, 0, so it's 08 and four zeros and then 1870 so it's 08 four eight four zeros 1870 but I'll also link it down below I'll try and link it down below and then their email address is unisa at I think this is it's w h i s t l e b l o w i n g dot c o dot z a so i'll say it again it's um unisa at w h i s t l e b l o w i n g dot c o dot z a i'll also link it though and then their office hours is 8 a.m. till 3, like half past 3 from Monday to Friday. And they sit on holidays. They don't like operate. So like that's obvious. And then the calls, I forgot to say how long the course is. The course is actually, um, it's a, it's a one-year course. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a one-year, it's like a full course. So applying this year, November, you do the course next year. And then, while you're doing the course next year, you, you can also apply for GIM on like next year. You can apply for GIM and then write the web next year, and then be considered to get in 2022. So this is for people that will apply in 2020. Okay, so you can calculate this if you be applying like in the next years to come. But like for this year, that's what you can do. Apply this year for this program. Start studying the program next year and then also apply for game next year apply for game next year and write the web next year because you apply in june for for the thing oh you apply in may it closes in the 30th of june the game it closes the 30th of june and then in september you get in okay you get invited in that period of june like 30th of june so i don't know some people get even <laughs> get invites on september so you get invites on those times and then they invite i mean you you write the web in september so make sure that while you're preparing while you're doing this course this math course you're also studying for the web because you'll write it on that year so yeah all the best you guys like all the best i wish you all the best of luck um and i hope everything just goes well um you pass your maths with like amazing marks and then you get invited to, <laughs> to write the web and then you pass your web because i also have a lot of questions i mean like a lot of videos about the web to make to make you more prepared um there's even a, a m to web for web group a telegram group that helps you to prepare for for, for the web I, I also like i i was in the group i got into the group they helped me in my year the following year i got in i like i wrote the web this year and the following year i got in so it's an amazing 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 group <laughs> i'll also link it down below so yeah that's it for this video and i'll also do an another video about english like if you didn't get uh 60% or above for English because for WEPT you need 60% for English and maths to be considered to write the WEPT. So I'll also do another video to like to tell you which modules and stuff like that um, you can actually do. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching the video and please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, like the video. Um, when you actually like, I think a lot of people don't know this, when you actually like the video or comment on the video, you actually promoting the video, you're telling YouTube to to make more people see the video. So I think this is very valuable information and by liking and commenting, um, you can help more people see the video and you know right <laughs> uh, enroll in this course and do well in maths and stuff like that and then eventually become doctors once they've also got into game and all that so please do comment like and share the video and yeah that's it <laughs> that's it thank you so much you guys uh bye